If you're looking for a transcription platform, this one is about the best that I can uh, recommend. Uh, they are TurboScribe and the reason I think it's the best is because if you're getting your feet wet in the water with trying to utilize it, they give you three free transcriptions daily. So you don't need to sign up with any credit cards or anything. And these three transcriptions are up to 30 minutes each. And then after the day is over, the three will renew again. And it keeps those old three ones that you've done, it keeps it in the record. Um, if you don't need it anymore, you can just delete it out there. But three transcriptions a day uh, forever under 30 minutes is a massive, massive plus in the situation. So it gets people who want to really get familiar with it to feel how it operates. Then if you want to go with a subscription model, which is $10 a month, then you kind of can have the unlimited things and whatever specific to those. But I thought, yeah, I'll just show it to you. And when you sign up, you can, um, or yeah, you can sign up and you can use your Gmail or you can use an email in there. It's up to you to do it. Okay, so when you hop around into it, let me just show you. Um, I've already signed up using my Gmail account. You go to click Open Dashboard. And you can see I've, I've got something in here already that I've used as a transcription. Now this was done on 17th of July. So by the 18th of July, this slot became open again. I could load another one. This was one of three at that stage. But I'm going to just go in here and delete it. Um, just to show you if we have a blank, this comes up. And you can see a note of three daily transcriptions used. Again, up till 30 minutes. Um, so if you have something that's maybe 40 minutes, you have to put it into another program and snip it off at that 30 minute point and use the 10 minutes as the second credit that you use. And you could probably still do it that way. Only thing is if you are going to move this transcription into a program like a subtitle program for example i've got this one called se which is an open source platform program it's called subtitle edit you can go on github and that but i'm not going to discuss that at this point but you can pull in a what they call a srt file a formatted file or there's many other formats you can pull in and that will be able to add the transcription at the bottom of a video if you are using it for that purpose. But if you just want to transcribe it, you can start recording here on the web. So while you're online, or you can upload your files. So if you click transcribe, here you have options of the type of transcription mode. I by default just use whale. It is most accurate. Uh, again, you might have purposes to use uh, cheetah and dolphin. But if you're doing it for the speed, you know, whale does it just as good. Um, here again, you can have options for recognizing, you know, how many speakers there are, etc. So there are levels of, of complexity that you can get involved with. If you're just wanting to drop in a thing and have it converted, then you can take a file, drop, drag it over here and it will load it in. Or you can click browse on your computer. Here is a little hyperlink. If you click this here, it's going to ask you to put in and yet whether you have it in YouTube, Dropbox, uh, in your Google Drive, Facebook, Vimeo, on X, or just a hyperlink from somebody else. You see here, they give you a whole list of it. You can pop it in here. It will pull it in. So I use this often if I want to get a YouTube video transcribed. I will click the link of YouTube and paste it in here. And you click import and it will bring it in here. And that's it. And once it's, it will upload, once it says 100% uploaded, you can say transcribe and it will pull it through and do the transcription for you. And again, it's quite accurate. Uh, let me just give you, maybe I'm going to just pull in a sample from here. Um, let me go and say, get a shareable link. Okay, if I go transcribe, click that, paste it here and say import. Okay, so I'm pulling it from one of my YouTube channels. Um, that is a video that I've done. It's going to pull it in now and then also create the file that when you export it, you can have, like I said, that SRT format or format with all the timing in. Here you see 
it gives you a little check mark that it's uploaded I'm going to say transcribe and then let it carry on there so this year you can see it's 30 minutes and one second so it's only going to transcribe up till 30 minutes but the last five or so minutes of this actual video is actually just music playing so I don't worry about that if I was going to use the transcription feature it would cover when I'm talking on that so if we look here we can once we've done the transcription we can download this file or even rename it etc but there it's going on the percentage uh, once we have this 100% we are able to click onto this file and then see the transcription with that transcription you are able to download the the time code with it you are able to download it as a PDF as I think as a word document etc so you have the flexibility of that the other thing that is very crucial in this is some of the recordings that you bring in the audio that you bring in it's not very clear so when the person is speaking it might be you know you can't make it out because maybe they slur speech or something you want to go and edit that because you know maybe you're dealing with scientific terms and the AI of TurboScribe doesn't interpret that accurately you can click and say edit and then you hover over that area and you can edit that specific thing change the text in there and it will keep it all in timing and everything and that's why I think TurboScribe for me is really awesome package there was a program I used a while ago um, and not to badmouth any program but it was Nuta which I still have I have a lifetime deal for Nuta they used to do transcriptions but then they changed their model to only uploading it and then creating an AI analysis of the transcription they never gave you the actual transcription to work with which was a bit of a, a down thing for me because I would expect them to do the transcription and in addition to that do the analysis do maybe an AI meeting analysis of the transcription but they they started off as a transcription company and they changed direction midway their audience is still there but I think they've lost a lot of us who are, are looking for this feature so TurboScribe is the one that does this great and I really recommend I'm not uh, paid by TurboScribe at all but I really recommend that if you use this extremely regular and you have long transcriptions to do the the subscription model for this developer is worth it and I think it's a just a single guy that runs this um, but the algorithm and the AI in the back end is phenomenal I haven't seen anything else as accurate and I'll give credit where credit's due for example text to speech would be 11 labs I haven't you know seen others in there so there are people that are specializing in their areas and for this one I think it's there okay so there it's finished giving you the green so if we click here now on this it's going to open the transcription and you can see it going here and as you click on it or you play it at the bottom here we go you will see it will come here and it will start playing through there now I'm not recording the audio of the screen here but it will go through playing these different sections here again if you want to export it can do it as a PDF docx text file this is the one that I would usually push out because it has the time code with that I can use as subtitles etc you can also do exactly this um, ability to you know do analysis of it. I have chat GPT function with it but the paid version is going to give you a bit more um, time to use the chat GPT if you're using it with a free version there's a limited amount of work it does at a time and there's translations you can translate this and this is the one that I was referencing here uh, again edit transcript so if I'm here if I click edit transcript it then processes it for me and if I hover over here you can see it says edit there so if I'm hover here then I go on to edit it then brings that piece up which I then can type and save the changes if I want to just remember you've got to hover over the area and then click the edit and it will pull that particular text out there but that again you've got to do once you click the edit button on the side here and that's about it um, so this is actually quite phenomenal so let, let me just export here I'm going to just go and export this document as a SRT 
And here you can decide how many words per segment in there. And you have a few other nuances you can set in there. I'm not getting into that now. I'm going to just do the download. And as we download there, I'm going to open this open source program, SRT Edit. Let's just see when that opens up. And then I'm going to pull in this file that I've just downloaded here. And you can see it's how it gets into that space. So I'm going to go here, open. And I'm going to go to my downloads. Here's the file Yeah, OK. I double click that. It pulls it nicely in. But what happens because of the free version, you've just got to be aware that it puts this transcribe by TurboScribe. I think it's a small price to pay. You can go in there and just delete it using this program or you can use any other text edit program and remove that that first spot. You won't see the TurboScribe little call out thing right at the start. So now if I wanted to use this um, as voiceover, uh, not voiceover, subtitles on the video that I created, I can just take this file and pull it into YouTube as a subtitle file. YouTube will identify the SRT file and then it will put the subtitles at the bottom and function in that way. When you export it, you can say it must show the time code and so forth. The SRT automatically does that. But if you do a Word document, you by default, you can let me just open this and you can see if you're just pulling out a Word document, by default, it wouldn't add the time code with it. It would just give you the transcript as you're looking at it. And again, there you can see the transcribed with DoubleScribe. That you can remove out of the Word document there. But it doesn't have the time code if you want to use it in conjunction with the actual video or the actual audio recording as text over. Okay, cool. Hopefully that gets you on the way to using TurboScribe. And as I say again, if you're going to use it on a bigger basis, support the platform. They don't ask much. Um, they just deliver. So that's quite phenomenal. Have a great day. Be blessed and shalom to everybody.